Hey there, Middle Earth Strategy Battle Gamers. So, I'm here with a quick video. Uh, it's kind of like a, a news update. So, uh, a couple weeks ago, maybe even a month ago, they announced the new Easterling models, the Acolytes, and I did a kind of a um, video theorizing things in the future. Uh, I said that I thought that a war in the north, uh, kind of based around the Battle of Erebor, was probably what we're going to see. And today they announced two new models that pretty much made that theory true. Um, and I even said in the video, I think that we'll see a new Dane Ironfoot profile, kind of representative of the older Dane, um, like from the old... Um, old profile, I guess, and we got, so as you can see, we do have a new Dane model, he's the one on the left with his red axe, he looks very similar to the Dane that we saw in the concept art for The Hobbit, um, there is like concept art of him and Brand, and I do think we'll see a Brand, uh, King of Dale, um, profile as well, but then we have his son, who's on the right, um, his son is, um, I believe Thorin the Third, is what he's called, so I think it's really cool that we got these two new models shown. I'm really looking forward to a War in the North book. I Here's my kind of theory on it. I have a feeling that we're not going to get a full War in the North supplement. I think that we're going to see mostly um, the Battle of Dale and Erebor. I think that we're going to be seeing a lot more... Um, a lot more like... Easterling profiles. I think that the Acolytes are one that's coming out, but I think we're going to see more of them. I think that we're going to see a King Brand um, profile. And I think that we're probably... I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if we got at least one more Easterling troop in a handful of Easterling heroes. We might get some more Orc heroes. Um, I would be really surprised if we got um, some Lothlorien slash Merc with Love. I just don't think that that's going to happen. Um... Because the supplements so far have been kind of small in the scope. So, like, for instance, Gondor at War focuses, yeah, the whole war through Gondor. But there are profiles that didn't come out in Gondor at War that came out in later supplements, like Angborn and Mugblung, uh, who could have been in Gondor at War, but they weren't. So I have a feeling that we're going to see probably mostly dwarves and some Dale. I wouldn't be surprised if we got, like, a few named Dale captains. Um... And that's also kind of a thing, is with this supplement coming out, I think we'll probably get some appendices stuff. Uh, like, I have a feeling we're probably going to have a... Such as, like, the um, Catapult Troll and models that were never released from the Hobbit era stuff. I think we'll probably see those. Um, but I think that the War in the North book is going to tie up, like, a nice bow around the dwarves and i think easterlings I, I i'm looking forward to it there's not like these the acolytes and then these two guys are all that we know so far but that's kind of like my little theory so this is just a real quick video pretty much just a news update for anyone who isn't on any of the facebook groups uh so yeah so these two new profiles are coming out um they said that dane is going to be representative he's older now he's not going to be strength five he's going to be strength four uh, i believe that he he says his axe is going to be master forged weapon I believe it said he has three attacks, and um, so he's going to be pretty much a watered-down version of Dane, Lord of the Iron Hills, but he's not going to be Dane, Lord of the Iron Hills. Uh, and then his son, I don't remember all of his rules, but he has some cool ones. So if you guys want to check it out, there is a, a article on the Warhammer community um, website. So if you guys like this content, please like, share, subscribe, and content, uh, comment, and we'll see you guys in the next video. I'll try and keep everyone updated on any more rules releases.